Mike Smith back with you on Scotty Sports Talk, joined by Kim Bechtold of the Student Sports Services, a transfer advisor as well at Highland Community College. Kim, uh, thanks for taking the time to join me. Also, uh, you know, hopefully uh, you and your family are staying safe and staying healthy, but how's, uh, how's things been going for you the last few weeks uh, kind of cooped up at home? Yeah, we're getting in a new routine. It's been a struggle for me as well, trying to figure out how to work from home and have kids at home, but so far so good. We're doing okay. Yeah, a lot of uh, different ways we've uh, had to interact with people and not having face-to-face right. interaction, I know, is uh, one thing we were talking about before we got rolling here on the interview, uh, missing the kids and such. But yeah. uh, we're still trying to support them in, in their uh, opportunities that they can pursue their education and classes for the rest of the semester online. Uh, I know that, uh, you know, one thing that you wanted to talk about specifically that we'll jump into is graduation. Uh, you know, kids will be moving on from Highland to a, a four-year school or, or a, a right. job uh, and getting their associates uh, you know, graduating in May or even in December mm -hmm. uh, you know, to try to make sure that uh, they stay on top of all of that and are on the right track. What do uh, kids need to do uh, in that capacity for graduation? Right. And I know right now everyone's just really focused on trying to finish out the semester strong, but there are several things that we need to think about just down the road for graduation and getting prepared for graduation. Um, one big thing students can be doing right now is making sure they've done the degree form sheet on our website. You can simply search that on our website. Make sure you're filling that out. It's called application for degree. That just lets our registrar's office know you plan to graduate. Also lets them know where to send that application or where to send that diploma to. So that's one huge thing. Another thing I wanted to touch on too is that our students right now that do plan to return to campus, we're currently enrolling for summer and fall. And it's so important for them to get in there right now, meet with us. We're doing appointments on Zoom. We're doing FaceTime. We're doing those over the phone it's really important for them to reserve those classes right now before we start enrolling new students. So another huge thing, and you mentioned December graduates as well. There's another really important form for them to fill out. It's called the graduation check form. They can also search that on our website as well. And that lets our registrar's office just double check all of the classes that they've taken and make sure that they're fulfilling those requirements. So. That's really important too to get filled out. Um, just some other things to do with transferring. We have a lot of students getting ready to graduate and transfer, making sure that they've been accepted into their next university is a huge thing. And then making sure they know how to send official transcripts as well. They can do that through MyHCC. Um, they can log into their account simply click on the grades tab and then click on request a transcript and you can send those for free to universities. So another really important thing to do. Yeah, a lot of things that uh, I'm sure that uh, many people aren't thinking about and, and understandably, because there's probably right. a lot of things uh, racing through everyone's minds. But uh, yeah. I know that uh, you talked about advising, talked about enrollment, which is open right now. And I'll provide a lot of the links uh, here on the interview as well for the things that you're talking about for graduation and, and enrollment and such. But uh, if what would your advice be for kids that are, you know, re-enrolling to continue education at Island and then obviously the, the new students as well on, uh, you know, taking that for uh, advising. But then also, um, how would you advise the students that are transferring, like some just like key points, I guess, that they need to be uh, focused on? Right. The best thing that they can do right now is just to communicate with us. I know we have several students where we still had plans to talk with them and try to figure out what their plans were for next year. And so as advisors, when we've been reaching out to them, um, we just need to know, do you plan to come back next year? Are you planning to transfer? And then we can help you make a plan from there what needs to happen. But most important thing right now is to communicate. We are here to help. We can help you look up resources. I can help students if they get stuck on doing an application to a university. Um, if they're in student support services, one really great thing is that we can get application fees waived to those four-year schools. So reach out to me if you're in student support services, and I can definitely help with those applications. Yeah, you talk about student support services. I, I talked to uh, Justine a few episodes mm -hmm. ago that, about uh, tutoring and, and many different uh, assets that uh, you guys provide there. Um, right. 
about that a little bit, uh, you know, what you guys yeah. provide uh, with the student support services? Yeah, we know this is a really hard time for everyone and we do just want to encourage you. We have tutoring still available. We have some of our current tutors doing Zoom. We have a math specialist holding Zoom hours and we also have someone with English doing Zoom hours. We also purchased a new app for students to use as well that focuses mainly on math and science. So there is a lot of help out there. Just let us know what we can do. And that's definitely what we're here for. You mentioned the app. Uh, I talked about that last time as well. I'll provide the link for that and, and everything else too. Yeah. Um, uh, something fun, hopefully uh, some interaction, uh, you know, uh, having on Friday nights, I believe, uh, starting this Friday, but moving forward yeah. after that, a uh, little house party app, I think is what it is. Yeah. Called. But I talk about yeah. that and how, how students can interact with you and, and fellow uh, personnel from Ohio. Yeah, it's just something new that we're trying. We miss our students a lot, and we're sad that we didn't get to say goodbye to a lot of them. And so we're just hoping to have a fun little social hour. Hopefully people can hop on for a few minutes, say hi to us. We put that out on Twitter or Facebook. Um, it's very easy to download. I have the app I've done with a few friends. So we hope people just log in and say hi to us really quick, just to let us know how they're doing. Yeah, we, we definitely miss you out there, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll get back to uh, a sense of normalcy for, for summer or fall or, or whatever it is. I uh, hope so. Yeah, we can get back to uh, things. But uh, Kim, I'll let you out of here on this. Uh, what's some, you know, just uh, other things that you can think of or other bits of advice uh, for the students, you know, leaving and uh, coming back and obviously coming in too for Highland that uh, they should be mindful of as they finish up this semester and and look ahead for their uh, college careers? Yeah, so one thing, and I know this sounds so silly, but checking those emails, just looking for information, um, making sure you're staying organized. I know that's really hard right now when everything's electronic and they're getting so much information, but making sure to check your email, staying organized, those are the two main things that I would suggest. Yeah, two big uh, big points that may slip through the through the mind, uh, you know. In yeah. Our, and uh, I I said I'd let you on there, but I wanted to ask you. I've been asking a whole bunch of other people. What is something that you're looking forward to once we uh, actually are out of quarantine and out back into the normalcy? Uh, what's something that one of the first things you want to do? Oh my gosh, there's so many things <laughs> I can think of right now. Well, right now I just want to get my kids out of the house and let them be a little more active and around people. But as far as work goes and college goes, I really do just miss being around everyone and miss the students so much. And I know that sounds cheesy, but that's such a huge part of our job. So it's weird not being there and not being able to interact with students every day. I totally understand <laughs> what you mean, Kim. Stay safe, stay healthy with you and your family, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you around on campus soon. I hope so too. Thanks, Mike. That's Kim Bechtold, Student Support Services and Transfer Advisor at Highland Community College. We'll continue on with uh, Scotty Sports Talk when we return.